guys, it's Michelle Marie Delaney, and yes, we are back in the studio again. At least we are partially home. We got, um, it's a little confusing because we don't sleep here, but we can do our work here. So let's just, uh, try to see my experiences in the last week. It's, uh, it seems like we've had so many, um, uh, things happen in such a short time and obviously these are the reasons I actually wanted to get back here with the cats because um, they missed me too and and I wanted to make sure that they were happy and um, while I was staying in the hotel I was always worried about the cats um, because they are of course my um, a major part of my life and, and I'm here and like I said I want to make sure that they were provided for as well. And coming here three times a week was okay. It, uh, I really kind of wanted to be able to um, be back here uh, on campus. So I'm on campus in the back. Uh, that's where I'm sleeping in the back building. Um, it's um, It was okay staying in the hotel. I, I didn't really have a particular problem with it, except, of course... The fact is it wasn't my home and um and I missed my cats. So So in your ear it looks like it's you still smell like you smell your ear still smells crappy. Yeah. He's having some issues with his right uh, left ear. Um I'm not sure exactly what it is. I can't really see anything serious discharge or anything. It's just, um, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, uh, wait, Westy's in the house here, too. They've been in the house, um, since last week, and they, um, uh, I'm surprised the house smells halfway decent, um, especially since Westy is a full-grown tomcat. He's, um, as far as I know, he hasn't marked anything, but I can't be sure at this point. Um, so, do I really um, think that the temporary solution that Jimmy came up with for the, immediate, oh, for the next few weeks is practical? I don't know yet. I'm, I have my doubts. Um, because, like, like for the next few nights, it's going to be warming up. But today, it's kind of nippy. And even here, it's nippy because he didn't turn on the main heat. He just has the hot water on. So, obviously, he's enjoying the uh, lower energy usage. Uh, but unfortunately, it's creating problems for um, a lot of people who are cold intolerant. And, um, yeah, you need crap in your eyes, too. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I I, um, I was going to Winston, like, three days a week. Um, and this would have been my third uh, day would have been tomorrow. And... Um, as you can guess, I'm here in Winston now, so I don't need to go to uh, take the bus in here to get here. But um, the problem is, is that um, it also adds, um, okay, some good news about where I am now is, is that, like I said, the cats can get their attention um, seven days a week, which is what they want, which is they need, and of course that's what I need, um, because I really, really was worried about these guys, and I was out there in the middle of nowhere, because I couldn't do anything about it, and, um, I wanted to make sure that I could get home to take care of them. The hotel was actually pretty nice, um, the only big problem was, is the practice, uh, something I might go ahead and sport on tonight. Um, I couldn't, I didn't have a full oven, so I couldn't make a pizza. Um, so today I'm thinking I'm going to buy a frozen pizza at Cumbies and then I'm going to cook that up. And um, along with some nice, fresh Cumbies uh, French vanilla or chocolate cook cookie dough ice cream, not sure which one yet. Um, and uh, of course, I missed miss my channels on the satellite dish. Um, the cable uh, arrangement they had with direct TV at the hotel was very limited. Um, there was there was channels, if you like some of the mainstream ones, like there was the Food Network. I was watching a lot of that. Uh, Dory liked the Game Show Network, and there were some problems with the at the head end with the Game Show Network, so it wasn't running for the last few days. Um, I don't know if they finally got it fixed or not, but that's not my problem. And um, 
and like I said, there's a lot of things going on um, that I, I just, it's just so many things I want to tell you. I just can't seem to get my head all together. It's like if someone's giving me a big pile of, of uh, bits and pieces of this and that and trying to describe everything. I can't really describe it all because it was just so much. Um, I got into the hotel on Wednesday night. I can tell you this much. Um, it was a nice room. The first one we had a problem with the door lock. The door lock did not always work. Um, so they moved us into another room. Um, me and Lummy. Yeah. And then that wheel was 248. We were in 248 for the majority of the time. Um, and, um, of course, because there, we only had a microwave refrigerator in the room, we couldn't really cook anything. And one of the things that we we're both kind of grousing about tonight was the fact that what we were supposed to cook. So, um, I don't like microwave food, thank you. I really don't. I prefer um, the privilege of actually putting food in my oven and or make a nice pasta dinner if I choose. And I didn't have that choice there. So, um, at least here I can cook and that's a good thing. And the kitties are happy. And by the way, Rusty's in here somewhere. He's always around. I saw him earlier. Yeah, I know I did too. He's out here. Rusty's probably on the couch, I think. Maybe. I think I think so. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, so the point was is that um, I missed, like I said, I missed the cats. And uh, Jimmy really didn't want to keep paying $2,700 a month for the hotel room. Just to stay in the night we stayed. Costed him a lot of money. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to calculate all the dollars and cents. I think it came out to be about $270 for one week um, of room stay. And Jimmy just realized he couldn't afford that because some people thought, oh, it's the insurance company's paying for the rooms. No, they're not. The insurance company was not paying for the rooms. He was paying for the rooms. He was trying to... Um, be less to cause less disruption for the tenants. Um, and um, it says what he said to us is that you know, if you, you know, I'm probably gonna put you guys up, and then you, you know, because he said normally he says is, um, in some cases, uh, the tenants are responsible for their own housing. Uh, Connecticut law is kind of strange. I'm not going to go into details of Connecticut law because it gives me hives. Um, the whole deal is, as far as housing law goes, let me tell you what I think. Um, Jimmy took a chance. Tried, he had no other choice. There was no other hotel that had beds available. He took that one, which was the most expensive choice at the immediate time. Um, and I guess he finally talked to his attorney, and his attorney came up with a better count, um, package for him. Um, uh, explained to him that there are certain things in law that says that he doesn't have to have people put up in a hotel like that, especially not for something like this long term. Um, that's just not business sense anyway. I mean, that's like 300% loss. Um, you know, no businessman can operate like that. Not, not even, and I couldn't disagree with him. But sleeping in the house next door without any, uh, central heating, I kind of got my gripes about that. First of all, the first thing is, is why, why can't you throw a couple gallons of heating oil in the tank? At least because a few gallons of oil... You just get more of sludge and a clog and burner up. Yeah. Okay, so I think it would have to be like 20, 30 gallons of oil. And I don't think he wants to spend whatever the price is for oil. 20, 30 gallons of oil is like, what, $3 a gallon? It's like $90. Yeah. That's like one night at the hotel. It's like, you need to tell me, you can't spend, you know, get like... 30 gallons of heating oil, so at least that we don't shiver. It's cold over there. I got my electric heater running, and it's, it's still cold. Because the problem is, is my electric heater is so wimpy. It's not even really a big heater. I got the studio lights on. It produces about the same number of watts between the lights on and, and the, the Power Mac G5, and it, which it's actually warmer in here because these are 900 watts of lights and, of course, the main computer. But the, the thing is, is that... Um, I can't see why he couldn't say, okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to arrange with my oil supplier, I'm going to get a couple gallons of oil in here so you all have some heat, um, 
And then he could actually make sure, you know, to let us know exactly how long is it going to really take you to fix the porch. You see, originally he said it's not going to make the porch new. I don't think he's going to make it new. I think what's going to happen is I think it's going to be another patch and pray. Well, he's still got a lot of work to do, though. He's going to have to tear the old tool shed down. Because the carpenter has gotten in there and done a number on it. Plus dry rot and, and other things. Yes, but again, once he um, jacks up the porch and puts new footings in, he might not have to quite go more, except maybe just replace the, the decking that's rotting out. And then he probably would uh, be a lot faster that way. As long as the building inspector likes to work, he should be all set. Um, and I think that's what he's going to do. Probably. Not really. Okay, guys. So, anyway, so here's the deal. Um, yes, we're back in the studio again. Yes, we can finally do videos again. Yes, I got a cat sticking his nose in my face. And, yes, I got another cat who's probably um, just as excited to see me. I'm talking about Rusty. Um, when I was here uh, yesterday, he was putting his, he was rubbing his head into my hand, which was in my clothes. He was putting his scent on my clothes, which usually a cat does that when they're happy and they're pleased, just like this cat's doing today. So now, of course, like I said, we can get these videos out. How am I going to edit this thing down too much? Mm, I don't know. You know why? I'll tell you why I say I know. I don't know because. It takes a long time to edit videos down on YouTube, on the system. It's just easier sometimes to just feed the videos out. Rusty! Come here. Ugh. I don't think he was really expecting me to be up here. Well, I think he wants something. Well, I know when I came home, he was kind of hungry, so... Yeah, he's probably was hungry. Now, the guys are pretty much back. You can tell that they're happy because their tails are in the air. They got their their life together. They, they, I mean, for cats, their lives are very simple. They're not really... Um, um, they think they think very easy-minded. Um, whereas humans can sometimes be real fussy. Um, but anyway, no. For this video, I think we're just going to go ahead and um, just upload it as it is. Um... Um, uh, using uh, the um, QuickTime program and uh, put that up on YouTube that way and that way you can see it as it is since the original um, um, type of video. Um, th this is probably the fastest way to do it, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, if you're going to upload it going like you do with Final Cut Express or iMovie 6, it's going to take a while to edit it. I mean, I can do a video of fine on Final Cut Express. It's your right. It's going to take a while. I'm going to have to snip, 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 snip. Cut this out. Cut that out. <coughs> Which I can certainly do. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, it's just, um, this has been the first time in a long time I've been home. And so I'm just kind of uh, enjoying trying to get my life back together. And uh, it's just nice to be back home. Um, even if it is only temporary, only if it's only part of time, but in the other part of the time, I gotta, I'd be sleeping over there at the yellow house. Um, but like I said, if Jimmy was just, would just pay for some heating oil, um, because right now the only person who has an electric heater is me, and, um, the other people, if anyone else comes in, they're not gonna be very happy. They're gonna be freezing their yachts off. Um, of course, you know, the couples, if the couples come here, such as, uh, Nikki and um, her boyfriend Linda Perry, her husband. Uh, I mean, they can snuggle up with each other and keep warm that way too. It's not really a big deal. I mean, I'm really gonna admit that um, I think that would have been nice at least if he put some heat in there because um, for some of us, we're gonna be doing a lot more than just some of us may choose to cook over there, maybe just break bread together. I don't know. You know, that's just an idea. Um, I'm glad to see you guys like my video, my constant videos I was doing at the hotel. I I think the last ones were pretty good overall, considering the fact that I was making do with beer skins and stone knives. Um, but uh, now we got the big studio back, and we can do some better work here, and that that's gonna be a good thing. Yeah. Okay, guys, listen. I gotta get going. Gotta edit this down. Gotta get this out the door. I'm gonna make a simple edit. Gonna get this out quick as we can. And um, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.